Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD announced their Threadripper lineup of products and we got some amazing benchmarks on their 3950X. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, as the leak suggested, AMD has officially announced their third gen Threadripper lineup of CPUs. Not only that, but they announced the release date and some benchmarks for the upcoming Ryzen 9 3950X. So let's just get right into it. First up, when it comes to Threadripper, the earlier leaks seem to have been accurate. AMD announced two new processors, the 3960X and 3970X. Now, if you followed the channel, you may have noticed that the 3990X wasn't announced, but remember that it's not supposed to be released until January, and while video cards did say it would be teased, that was before the announcement was postponed until today. Basically, the 3990X is almost definitely coming, but it may not make its debut until January. Either way, let's go over the two chips we do have now. First up is the Threadripper 3960X, which is a 24-core, 48-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.8GHz and a boost of 4.5. It also comes with a crazy total cache of 140MB along with a 280W CDP and a whopping 72 usable PCI Express 4.0 lanes. As far as price, we're looking at $1,399. Next up, we have the Threadripper 3970X, and this is a 32-core, 64-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.7GHz and the same boost of 4.5GHz. As for cache, the 3970X gets slightly more than the 3960X at 144MB. Finally, it has the same 280W CDP and 72 PCI Express 4.0 lanes, and it's priced at $1,999. Both CPUs are expected to launch on November 25th. Finally, AMD's new STRX4 socket was unveiled along with their TRX40 chipset, and it's definitely a doozy. Besides the 72 PCI Express lanes, it offers four times the bandwidth compared to second gen Threadripper for communication between modules, which is definitely something these can use. Of course, all of that is well and good, but the actual performance is what really matters. Now, I will say that these are first-party benchmarks, and it's always best to wait for third-party reviews, but this is all we have right now. Either way, AMD ran a number of benchmarks comparing their two new Threadripper CPUs to Intel's 18-core 9980XE, and AMD's new chips handily beat Intel's best at everything they show here, from Premiere Pro to Chromium and as high as 90% in Cinebench. Of course, it is interesting to note that Intel's 9980XE is putting up a decent fight with so many fewer cores. With that said, the price is all that matters here, and at the current price, there's zero reason to purchase a 9980XE. But, Intel's upcoming Cascade Lake X processors are set to cut their prices in half, so it may actually be a bit closer with the 24-core 3960X costing a decent amount more than the 10,980XE, especially if it can overclock to some decent levels. Then again, it is funny to see the two companies flip, with Intel targeting price to performance while AMD is aiming for the best performance crown. Basically, I really hope I get a chance to test these out. Oh, and really quickly, the new Threadripper box looks amazing. Lastly for today, AMD released more information on their upcoming 16-core Ryzen 9 3950X. Starting things off in a slide the company sent out, you can see that they recommend water cooling, which is mostly understandable since the 3950X is a 16-core part on their mainstream line, and it has the highest boost clock of all Ryzen chips. Next, AMD revealed the release date, which is set for the same November 25th release as their Threadripper chips. And finally, we have performance, the part everyone's been waiting for. First up is a series of professional benchmarks which show the 3950X handily beating the 9900K and 9920X. Of course, the 9920X is only a 12-core part, but I think they're doing it because of its price. But as I've said before, Cascade Lake X cuts that in half, so it would probably be better to compare it to Intel's 14-core part. Then again, with AM4's much cheaper boards and Ryzen 3000 using PCI Express 4.0, it's definitely a great buy. And that isn't even the biggest part in my opinion. AMD also compared the 3950X to Intel's 9900K at gaming, and as you can see, it actually beats Intel's best gaming chip in a few games. Not all, but it's definitely interesting to see what Ryzen can do with just slightly faster clocks. With that said, I do not suggest this CPU for strictly gamers. Intel's 9900K can likely get better performance when overclocked, and the slight difference isn't worth it at all anyway. 
Still, for a fantastic workstation CPU with some great gaming capabilities, the 3950X is shaping up to be an amazing chip. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the 3950X or what about AMD's Threadripper lineup? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.